top 8 things to know before buying an infinite banking policy. Thank you for watching Bright Horizon Wealth. We teach entrepreneurs and go-getters like you how to own their financial future with the concept of infinite banking. Please, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we come out with brand new videos. Please stay tuned to the end of the video to get a valuable tool today and learn how you can make more money by working smarter, not by working harder. So today's topic is the top 8 things you need to know before buying an infinite banking policy. And it can be summed up in a couple of words. Check out if it's a mutual company, its age, financial rating, rate of insurance, and its claims paying capacity. How financially solid is the company? It's important to choose a financially strong life insurer. The question is, how can you find it out? And the answer is very simple. Just Google it and find out its rating. Look up financial strength ratings to find out how stable the company is. Independent rating firms such as AM Best, Fitch Ratings, Moody's Investor Services, or Standard & Poor's Rating Services issue grades for insurance companies. How old is the company? The second thing you need to know is how long has the company been around? You want the company to be around to pay the death benefit to your beneficiary, whether you pass away in 5 years or 30. Most of the companies that we deal with are more than 100 years old, but some of them are even older than that. What is the company's track record? Check with your state insurance department to get a glimpse of how well a life insurance company serves its customers and lives up to its promises. You can also look up complaint, licensing, and financial information by company on the National Association of Insurance Commissioners website. Now, this next one is very important. To buy a whole life policy, to entertain the concept of infinite banking, you must need to find it out is it a stock or a mutual company? Unlike publicly traded insurance companies, which are owned by stockholders, mutual life insurance companies are owned by their policyholders. As a result, if you buy a permanent life insurance policy through a mutual company, you can receive dividends, a share of the company's surplus revenue. The reason I said it is so important because just making a guaranteed interest every year is not going to make a big change in your portfolio. This is the dividend check that you get every year that makes or breaks the banking concept inside your policy. Each year, the mutual company's board of directors decides how much to distribute to policyholders in the form of dividends. You can take yours in cash, use them to repay policy loans, or apply them towards premiums. And the next question you should be asking is, how long have they been paying dividends? And that brings us to the next point which is how long have they been consecutively paying dividends? Most of the companies that we work with have been paying dividends consecutively for the past 100 years. In fact, I call it one of the best litmus tests for a whole life insurance company. Just imagine a company who has been paying dividends even through the Great Depression or recession periods. It has stood the financial test of the time. What about premium and cost? It is important to know, whenever you buy a whole life insurance policy, you must have premiums and costs involved in it. You should always find it out if the premiums that you are paying are giving the best bang for the buck. Our next tip is, how much interest they charge on a loan. And talking about the cost brings us to the next point which is the loan structure. One of the best things about a whole life insurance policy is they call it a cash value policy. And the reason they call it a cash value policy, because it accumulates cash inside it. And that gives you the flexibility to opt in the loan from your policy. The way it works is, whenever you take a loan from an insurance company, they will charge you an interest rate. Here's what you need to find out about that interest. 1. Is it a fixed or variable interest rate? 2. How much interest I'll be paying on my loan? Most of the companies that we deal with charge around 5% simple interest. So tip number 6 is term conversions. One of the important things you should be looking for when working with an insurance company is do they have a good portfolio of whole life products? Do they have a good conversion system? That is, if you have a term policy, 
can you convert it into a whole life policy and all those things? So how do you choose between them? Here are five questions to ask about a company before you buy. What products are available? Review the company's life insurance products to make sure it offers a good selection of the type that you want to buy, whether that's term or permanent life insurance, such as whole life or universal life. If you buy a whole life insurance policy, what you should be looking for when working with an insurance company is, do they have a good portfolio of whole life products? What are the underwriting guidelines? Underwriting guidelines vary widely by the company. Insurers use these to determine whether to sell you a policy and how much to charge. If you get turned down or are quoted unaffordable rates by one company, you might have better luck with another. Compare life insurance quotes among several competitors to see how they stack up. Now, to recap what we've discussed so far is to find out the right insurance company, we need to check out whether it's a mutual company or a stock company, how old is the company, what is the financial rating, what kind of rate of interest they pay and they charge, and its claims paying capacity. Now, here's the tip for the day. I want you to take a minute and find out how much interest a bank CD is paying as of today. Then, if you find that your whole life insurance policy is paying a dividend check at the end of the year and it has a good liquidity feature, that at any time you can take out a loan from here as much as 90% of the cash value whenever you want, ask yourself, does it make sense to get all these benefits here or should I put my money in the stock market and take a risk? Thank you for watching the video and we hope that this information was helpful. Now I have a question for you. What is the one thing you got from this video today? Please let us know in the comment section, it'll help us improve our message. Also, if you're worried about paying your debts and creating a source of perpetual passive income, we have a free book called Infinite Banking Secrets where we share different ideas on how you can utilize your whole life insurance policy to achieve your financial freedom. So check out the link below and visit our masterclass. And if you're impatient like me, you can go ahead and book a one-on-one -on -one free consultation over Zoom. It's a pro bono service because we love to educate people like yourself and you don't need to buy anything at the consultation. So book a free consultation with us by clicking the link below in the description. And don't forget to download our free book called Infinite Banking Secrets. If you like this video, let us know by liking it and leaving a comment for us. Please share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the notifications bell so that you can be notified when we upload new videos.